into it. Why? Because of their unbelief. The gospel was preached to them. But the Bible says they didn't, they didn't mix it with faith. In them that hear it, they didn't mix it with faith. So when you hear the word of God, you got to mix the word of God with what? Faith. Hallelujah. Amen. It is faith that brings the manifestation of the promises of God to pass in your life. If you want to experience the promises of God, you got to stand in faith. It is faith that brings it to pass. Nothing else but faith. Let's go to Hebrews 11 and verse 1. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Verse 1 and 2. Hebrews 11 verse 1 and 2. If you have it, say amen. Go ahead. You hear that? The evidence of things not seen. Uh-huh. You, you see, faith is the substance of things what? Hope for. The evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. So if they are not seen, they are invisible. It didn't say they are not there. It said they are not seen with the natural eyes. But it says that faith gives you evidence. You see what I'm saying? Say, so I got the evidence. Once you have the evidence, you know whatever evidence you got, that thing has been existed. It's there. You might cannot see it, see it as yet, but it is not yet manifest. So faith give me evidence. Faith give you evidence. So once you have faith, you have evidence. Evidence of the things. Amen. And he says when? What he says? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now. Now. Not tomorrow. Now faith is. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. You hear that? It is in invisible it's not yet been seen. It's not seen. But now tonight we are we are praying. Amen. Amen. How we we are we are learning to pray to bring manifestation of the promises of God to pass in your life. Amen. We that's the one that's talk about the promises of God and never experienced none of the promises of God. You want to be able to Amen. Have a testimony about the promises of God manifested in your life. Amen. So faith brings evidence of things so far. Amen. For amen. Amen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. By it the elders obtain a good report. By it. Now underline that word invisible. Write it in your, in your notebook. Write the word invisible. It didn't say visible, it says invisible. So what it means, what it means. When something is invisible, it means you can't see it. You can't see it. But it doesn't say it doesn't exist. It says it is invisible to the, to the physical eyes. Now, yes, the first Corinthian chapter two. First Corinthian chapter two, verse nine and ten. First Corinthian chapter two, verse nine and ten. Hallelujah. You got it? First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. Who want manifestation? Yeah. You want to experience manifestation, right? You just tired just praying and ain't nothing happening. See, no. no. We're supposed to pray and get results. Amen? 
We're supposed, to be, we're supposed to pray and get result. Every time you pray, you're supposed to get result. Amen? Every time we pray, sing to God, we're supposed to get result. Go ahead. But as it is written, I have not seen. Because it what? Eyes have not seen. It's invisible. You can't see it. It's invisible. But it do means that it's not there. Amen. You might can't see it, but it do means that it's not there. Amen. You might can't see it. It doesn't mean, but it do means that God already did it. God ain't did it yet. Amen. You might just can't see it. The, the problem is, you are waiting on the manifestation of what God already did. God doesn't halfway do anything. When Christ says it is finished, it is finished. Amen. That's it. It is finished. It's finished. Christ said, it is finished, it is finished. Everything that God came to do, he accomplished it, and he finished it. He finished it. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's finished. It's finished. finished. So everything that God promised you is finished. Hallelujah. It's finished. And all you need to do is receive what God has promised you. Is receive what God has promised you. Because whatever God has already promised you, it is finished. Say the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of unbelief. Every spirit of unbelief. That is trying to humble my mind. Trying to humble my mind. I command. I command. That your influence over my mind. Will be broken tonight. Will be broken tonight. I break every influence of the enemy. I break every influence of the enemy. That is trying to influence my mind. I try to influence my mind. So I will not believe what God already did. I will not believe it. I believe in the day. I believe. But tonight, tonight, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I demolish. I demolish. I destroy. I destroy. I pull down, I pull down every stronghold, every stronghold that is trying to block my destiny, trying to block my destiny, that is trying to hinder my purpose. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Somebody get off with it. Tell the devil, says, you will not stop me. The devil, you will not stop me. The devil, you can't stop me. The devil, you can't stop me. You got to talk to him. You got to talk to him. You, you, you got to talk to him like you know who you are in Christ. Say, devil, you can't stop me. The devil, you can't stop me. Whatever God has promised me. I got a promise me. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Is ye. In him, in him, in is amen. Amen. Unto the glory of God. Unto the glory of God. By me. By me. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. The enemy cannot, and, and the enemy, he will try to use a nipplet, try to nipplet you in your mind. That we teach you right now. And he will have some of your mind somewhere else. So, the, so you will not hear what God wants you to hear tonight. I'm telling you. He'll have your mind somewhere else. He'll have your mind thinking about things that is not even important. That's true. Because he doesn't want you to receive the, the word of God. Since of God, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And time for the church to realize that, amen, that, amen, amen, we fight against principalities and powers evil, unclean spirit that doesn't want the church to make no progress. When I say the church, I'm not talking about the building, I'm talking about you. It doesn't want you to make no progress. It doesn't want you to do anything for God. 
It doesn't even want you to be successful in life. And this is why, amen, sins of God, we can't be playing around. We can't be playing around. Amen. We got to use this word and decree and decree and declare the word. And any time you, you discern that the devil is at work, you deal with him quickly. Amen. Hallelujah. You deal with him quickly. Amen. Because I, I, as I'm teaching, I, I, I pick up the demon, the spirit of unbelief. I believe. I believe. Doesn't want you to believe what God said. Hallelujah. Doesn't want you to believe what God said. I so believe. you will not receive what God said. I believe. You can't believe them doubt at the same time. Amen. You can't believe in them doubt at the same time. And that's and that's and that's one of uh, one of a lot of uh, believers uh failure. They one minute they believe. As long as they're the present part, they believe. But when they go back and they see the situation, then they start to doubt. But you can't doubt and Amen. believe at the same time. It got to happen. Either you believe him or you don't believe him. Happen. You believe in him and have nothing to do with what you see. You believe in him have everything to do with your faith and confidence and what he didn't really did. For them that love him. You know, God is not going to. God already won. Yeah. So everything about God is not is not what? Present tense, but it what? Past tense. It's already been done. Yeah. Hallelujah. So don't, don't, don't stop saying, oh, I'm waiting for God to do it. Stop saying that's the wrong word. Which, which way you God to do? God already did everything. You just have to learn how to receive. From the finished work of Jesus Christ. So when we pray according to the promises of God, we are praying according to the finished work of Christ Jesus. Because why? In Him, in Him, all the promises of God is in who? And Christ in you. So that means if Christ is in you and all the promises of God is in Christ, all the promises of God is in you. Amen. But you gotta know it. You got to know what you got. You got to know what you're working with. So you'll stop talking like this. I'm just waiting on the Lord. I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm waiting for God to bring it to pass. I'm waiting for God to manifest it. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for this for the God. I'm waiting on my healing. No, no, no. You don't really get your healing. Amen. You don't really get your healing. You don't really get your deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because amen. Amen. He said he can, he set captive free and give gift to man. So anything that was in bondage, Amen. He set them free. Okay. But God hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit. But God has revealed revealed what? Revealed them, them unto us. By his spirit. How did God reveal it to you? How God reveal it to you? By his spirit. By his spirit. Read. For the spirit searcheth all things. For the spirit searcheth all things. For the spirit searcheth all things. The spirit searcheth all things. Now. This is the human spirit or the, or, or, or the Holy, Holy Spirit. So now it's the Holy Spirit that searches all things. And how God revealed it to you? By His Spirit. By His spirit. So, so all the promises, see the promise is have not yet been revealed to you. But it's already been done. But you don't know it. It has to be revealed. And so it's going to take the Holy Spirit to reveal it to you. So the Holy Ghost revealed all the promises of God to you. It can be it. So you know it. So you know what is right in your arms. So you'll be able to clean what rightly belongs to you. Amen. So the Holy Ghost job is to reveal is to reveal everything. 
everything that God has promised is the will of you. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Yeah, but deep things of God. The Holy Spirit now is going to reveal the deep things of God to you. He's going to reveal the deep things about you. So once he reveals it to you, here comes the next step is manifestation. Next step is manifestation. Once God show you what you got, you don't really got it. Once God tell you and it, it reveal it to you, based on scriptures, you have it. You have it. So you have to change your confession. Saying, I don't have it. No, I, no, you have it. You have it. You have it. It might not yet manifest yet in your life, but you got it. It is like a farmer planting a seed. And the farmer said, well, you couldn't see me right in the ground. The farmer said, well, I don't have no tomato tree. No, he made it food. He's telling a lie. He, he have not made it food. He can't see it. But he got it. And the evidence is he planted the seed. The evidence is the word of God. Works unfold God's promise. Watch the word of God is in you. The promises of God is in you. Because the word of God, amen, unfold the promises of God. God doesn't promise you without a word. Amen. Everything God does, he does with a word. He does Abraham come on, come from among your kingdom. Amen. And I will should bring I'll show you, I'll should show you a line. That was a promise. And it was a word. Amen. So everything God does, he, he does, he, he does with the spoken word. And the word now unfold. All of his promises. The word of God unfold all of his promises. All of us in here tonight that is who are Christ, who is in the Lord Jesus Christ, don't have no lack. Amen. Amen. See, it is so hard for some of us. Amen. That's all of that because now you are looking at Amen. Some stuff Hallelujah. That seems like little chaos and some stuff that have. Of been past though, and you say, Well, I really am not sure what I'm past them. I'm sure. Amen. See, the reason why a lot of times that we cannot receive it, because this is what we doubt if we look at the physical things. We try to compare the spiritual things to the physical things. No. No. If God says you bless, you bless. That means you bless. Whether you feel blessed or you feel blessed, God says you bless. Amen. Whether you look blessed or you look blessed, God says you bless. His word cannot change, and you becomes what you believe. See, what you believe it, you becomes it. What you believe, what God says, you becomes what God says. Once you believe it, you become it. Ah. When God says that greater are he that is in you than he, is in, he that is in the world, that is not something that we just should memorize and go, but that's something that we should